Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Uh, last episode we got our Cyclops up and uh, all built, up and running. I uh, put the energy, energy efficiency module in there. Uh, we did have a little bit of an update too, so they've been updating, uh, I'll show you here in a second. They've been updating uh, displays and uh, important information that you need around certain things. So I'll show you here, we'll head up to the engine room. Uh, what they did is they put some status panels over here. For one, you can actually see the, the, the count on a decoy tube now. But then if we go over here too, we have like an on-display status of the Cyclops. Uh, as you can see, I put the energy efficiency module in there. I think I actually found that in a wreck. And yeah, so what I want to do is uh, now that we got the Cyclops, we have the Sea Moth, it's about time we get the Prawn Suit. Uh, I do need to find the grappling arm still. But as you can see by uh, that beacon over there, we're going to head over to, I believe it is the Grand Reef. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I do have aerogel, or um, the gel sacks made the aerogel, but we're lacking one lithium and two um, emerald uh, rubies. So we're going to brave the depths and go try to find some stuff. I know there's a wreck over here too I want to check out because maybe that'll be where the grappling arm is. And I actually forgot to check to see if I have all my tools on me and that they're charged. Uh, scanner's got a charge, good. That's all I care about. Alright, so let us go. Uh, eventually do have to uh, move the base, get some proper power generation going. Those sand sharks are all... They're all noise. That's all they are. Alright, now hopefully, hopefully I don't run into any stalkers. Or not stalkers, reapers. But if I do, at least, at least I got some gas torpedoes. Now, I have been sort of cheating. I have been using um, uh, some images that I found just to find where things are. Because I get so lost in here. Even with the compass, I'm still getting lost. But I think... Okay, that <laughs> looked like it dropped out a lot further than it does. But I think there was supposed to be a wreck around here somewhere. Right, that's the, the rendezvous point. There's a wreck. I want to see if we can find that drill arm while we're here. And... Uh, Cyclops Fragment, if anything. Let's see what else we can find here. The problem is I never really fully explore these wrecks. There's a lot of sea moth fragments. And what else we got over here? We got nothing. If anything, it might actually be inside. And I don't know if I've been in this one or not. Anything outside that's worth scanning? No. And I have a feeling I've been in this one already. Yeah, I've been in there. Alright, well, uh, where is my marker? There is my marker, so now we go. Uh, so, what I'm looking... That scared me. <laughs> what I'm looking for is rubies and nickel, uh, lithium. So we're going to find shale deposits too. And shale, I do believe, is somewhere around this depth. Oh, more infected. Let's see what else we can find. It's getting dark. Getting very dark. Probably should have waited till daytime. Ah, oh, it was daytime, but till. Oh, that's a engine fragment. I don't need that. Ooh, the bulb zone. Maybe we'll go grab some gel sacks while we're down there. Or not the... I think it's called the bulb zone. Not 100% sure, but this should be where... We find the rubies. Oh, there's a wreck there, too. Maybe we can find that grappling arm. Oh, speaking of rubies... What the hell was that? Who attacked me? Something attacked me. Oh well. 
Uh, game definitely gets your heart racing sometimes. There must have been a biter floating around. I will survive. Gonna find some more rubies up here. Oh wow, there's lots of stuff here. I'm gonna arm those torpedoes just in case. I have a feeling I'm gonna be seeing some company here soon. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, quartz, quartz, quartz. I wouldn't mind finding a couple of gel sacks too, because uh, you can't actually plant them. You gotta hit them with your knife to get the seeds. Oh, that's so close to the thermal vent. I hope it doesn't. I hope I'm fine. Nope. Oh. Uh, and of course, I didn't bring water with me. Go figure. But that. It's fine. We'll survive. So which way? That way. Well, this was just a reference point of which area I needed to be in. So now I just need to find a couple pieces of lithium. Well, there's another ruby. Definitely need that. And... So I got the two rubies that I need. I got the aerogel that I need. I even have one to plant. So now we need to find some shale, so I can get some lithium. That's not shale, I think I gotta go further down. I think that is shale right there. Is it not? No, it's not sandstone. Alright, further down we go, into the deep, dark, unknown. It's good thing I got the depth module on this thing, too. Oh, hello, Mr. Warper. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I don't like being ripped out of my own ride. Is that shale? No. I know we're at the depth for it. Let's see if we can find any... anything. Pretty sure this is the area I need to be in. A lot of quartz. Another ruby. I'm not gonna really worry about the ruby. I don't think I need them for the drill arm, anyways. I think the the drill arm, if we find it, actually, what was that wreck? I wanted to go check the inside of that wreck. Where was it? It's over this way, I think. certainly wouldn't catch me doing this in real life. No way. You could throw me a prison before you send me down this far in a tiny little soup can. Okay, where was this? Where was this wreck? I'm getting a little too deep, I think. To what else? Where did it go? I probably should start taking these rubies when I see them. Uh, where is that? It's up there. Okay. Just to get an idea of where I am. Hmm. But yeah, I use these uh, those pictures just so I have an idea of where the biomes are and where to go to find things or else I could be riding around for days and days and days and never be able to find anything just because I don't know anything like you can call it much well mushroom forest is a little different but sparse reef grand reef sea treaders path it's all under the ocean to me I'm still freaky as hell oh there's another warper so I'm gonna go uh, this way. Yeah, where was that wreck? You know, you should be able to see the sparking of it. Oh, yeah. Let's let's get away from him. I need lithium. 
Maybe I gotta go further down. Because I'm not finding a shale, and I thought you would find them at 250. Well, since I've been saying this about a hundred times. Let's grab that ruby. And I think I saw. I think I saw a shale outcrop somewhere down here. No, I didn't. I think I'm in the wrong area, to be honest. That's uh, copper. Don't have the drill arm for that. Don't have the prawn suit for that. But, I eh, might as well grab another ruby here while I'm at it. Oh, something I noticed too. Uh, like I, you know, I've watched the game for been watching the game for a while, but I haven't played much of it. I'm about 24 hours into the game myself. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, but the the pictures that I have, like the little cheat sheets, I'll call them. They refer to the rubies as oh, there we go, as what was that? Aluminum oxide. Diamond. Ah, go away. Uh, don't even have a head health, health pack on me. Oh, it's those things. That's what got me. All right. Well, where is lithium? Oh, there's another outcrop there. Make sure nothing's gonna kill me or hurt me or eat me or warp me into another dimension. There's one lithium. Yay! I need one more. One more. One more. Where are you? I do not like the sound of that. And I have absolutely no idea where I am. I'm lost. They almost look like the old crops, but they're not. Okay, there should be something here. Uh, there's more titanium. Uh, maybe I'll grab that. Not that it really matters. Because there's titanium everywhere. Alright. So I just need one more. Oh, that was a close one. Those guys never got me. So, hello, lithium shale. Oh, hello. I found a secret. Well, not a secret, but part of the storyline. But I won't worry about that a little later. I just want to get one more piece of lithium so we can go in and make our prawn suit. More titanium. Where are we? Okay, we're. Yeah, we'll start heading back that way, I think. Let's grab that ruby. Just because. I don't know why, but every time I swim, I always hold shift thinking that's gonna help me move faster. I know all I have to do is just pull the sea glide and I'd be flying, no problem. Okay, lithium. Where are you, lithium? Whoa, I'm out of here. You ain't warping me. Where's the turbo on this thing, man? Seamoth needs an afterburner. There's a lot of quartz. Come on, one more piece of shale. Oh, is that it? No, that's... That's vegetation of some sort. Come on. You find these things everywhere except for when you actually need them. Or I'm just not paying attention. I have no idea. I'm just trying to look at everything. There's so many little bumps and color changes. Oh, there's the wreckage I was looking at. Hopefully there's no warpers around. Maybe I'll be lucky and I'll find some lithium just happen to be sitting somewhere. And you know what? I think I've been in this one. I think I have. I sort of remember this. I like all the stuff on the side there. Makes me wonder if I'll find the grappling arm. Or not the grappling arm, the drill arm fragment here. 
Yeah, I've been here. I got that data box open. All right, nothing here. Not even any any shale. I think I'm a little too high up for shale now, so I think we have to go back down. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Where is the shale? Is that infection actually getting to the ground, or is that just like algae? ish kind of stuff. I don't know. But again, I just need one tiny little piece of lithium. And I might have an idea where to find it if I bring up that other beacon. Where'd that warper go? Did he warp off? I hope he did. Oh, uh, yeah. That actually <laughs> kind of made my heart jump a little bit. Uh, come on. Where is that shale? Shale, shale, shale. Oh, jeez. I'm out of here. Oh, you can warp him, please. Get him out of my face. I thought he was following me. Alright, back down we go. We'll head off in uh, this direction. Which, I have no idea where it is. Let's see. Okay, we're about 800 meters from there. Hello. Well, oh, torpedoes aren't armed. I guess I have to rearm them every time I get back in. That's a scanner room fragment. And I just need one piece of lithium. And hopefully not run into a stalker along the way. Wow, a lot of sand sharks. And a stalker. Oh, yeah, I know where I am. I'm not going to be going in this area. This is the Aurora. And Aurora means reapers. Well, I'm thinking I might have to go back into that area where the purple mushrooms are. Because I know I can get lithium down there. No, I think I don't. Only thing, only reason why I haven't gone down there is I'm worried about actually getting lost. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Run back to, run back home, grab some water, maybe have a quick bite to eat, and then we'll head back out, and we'll go back to the other area and see if I can, oh, sorry Mr. Reefback, and yeah, then see if we can go get that piece of lithium. Alright, my vitals are taken care of, so let us go. So that's where we're going over here, this is actually the entrance to the caves, and... I just realized I wanted to make a beacon so I can put it near the egg, the exit tunnel to that cave system so I don't get lost. So at least I can go and venture a little bit and not have to worry about <laughs> dying of thirst or hunger. So I just need copper and titanium. Oh my god, that's the cheapest thing I've built in a while. Okay, so we go up here. And let's see, copper. One copper, wow. I need to get some copper too. Oh, that's not in my inventory. Okay. And I'll go ahead and make a beacon. And then what I'll do is I'll put that in my hot bar now. Okay. Let us go. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yeah, that bioreactor gets in my way. Sometimes I don't know which way I'm going. I just look and it's like, oh, there's a wall there. Wait a minute, that's not my wall. That's a power source. All okay, so we're just going over here. Again, I'm looking around for 
And you have missed. Is that actually something scannable? No. I thought it was. You never know. It's always worth checking it out. Might find something new, new and exciting. So this is just right over here. And this will actually take us right down into... I think it's called the Bulb Zone. Not 100% sure what it's called. I just know we got the big purple mushrooms in here and... Uh, what are they? The crab snakes? And biolumis bioluminescent mushrooms. Wish I had these when I was a kid. <laughs> anyway, let's get some light going here so we can see what we're doing. Uh, probably should have repaired it, but it'll survive. I'm just going down here for one piece of titanium or lithium, and then I get out. I'm gonna deploy that, and then. So which one is this? Let's actually get that beacon up so I can actually see where I'm going. Beacon three. It's not showing up, but why not? There it is. Alright, so now I can explore and not get lost. Not that I'm exploring too far. Because, to be quite honest, I'm a little nervous being down here. I know it's just a game, but. It's stuff like that that really gets you thinking. Oh, there's lithium. I'll just bring the pawn, pawn suit down. Why not? What is that? What is that? Magnetite. And a lot of magnetite. Don't care about magnetite. Oh, well, not at the moment. Yeah, it, it, see, my torpedoes are unarmed again, I think. Every time you exit the Seamoth and get back in, that unarms your weapons. Which is something to keep a, keep an eye on because you never know what's going to happen yeah I've never really explored around here too much just because of the fact that I know I'm going to get lost because you don't have any points of reference just these mushrooms that are everywhere unless you actually count how many mushrooms there are in front of you and the size and kind of critters are hanging around you'll never actually find your way up so, I'm just looking for something really simple. I wish I could go up to one of these clusters and just hit it with my knife till it break off a chunk. What is that? What is that? Oh, please be lithium. Please be lithium. Diamond. Oh, I don't want diamonds. Lithium right there. Oh, go away. Go away. Alright, what do we got down here? Magnetite, magnetite, magnetite. A red eye peeper. I think Visine will help with that one. No, oh, come on, where is lithium? Okay, that's where we started. I know I'm backtracking many, many, many times. It's got to be around here somewhere. Let's rise up. Oh, not that high. Let's go see what's over here. Uh, nothing. Nothing I want to risk my Seamoth for. Any more than I already have, anyways. I know there's lithium around here somewhere. Let's head off in this direction. See if we can find. We'll go check out that phasing mushroom. You know, there was a shale cluster there, but there's these guys here too. And yeah. Okay, I thought it disappeared. I saw that happen before, where I was looking at a cluster and it moved gold. Okay. Oh, we found diamond, we found gold. 
far too much bang to tie it around, so hopefully the next one we go check out should be a lithium. Lithium, haha. Alright, let's, let's get the hell out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm done. I'm going home. Let's fire one off just for the hell of it. And it completely missed. Kaboom. At least they're cheap to make. We'll unarm that. And now we can go out. Now that I got this beacon here, I can always come back later and do some exploring. I think we actually have to come down here for something or another. I know I have to go through my uh, the PDA and see what kind of things we need to do. Well, that's weird. My life pod icon is stuck on the HUD. Unless it's actually attached to me, which I highly doubt. Okay, that was weird. Alright. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm actually, since it's dark, I'm actually going to go back, uh, do a couple of things, get some stuff ready, and then we'll, we'll make our suit. The last suit we'll ever wear. Okay, I had to run and get some quartz, and yeah, now I got everything ready to go. Uh, one thing I've noticed too, like, you can probably see on the left side of the screen, I'm at 54% right now. And uh, the Cyclops, no, Seamoth is actually smoking. And uh, I've never seen that before. Where is my repair tool? Is that number five? Yes, it is. Sure takes a beating, especially the way I, I drive. Oh, yeah, that's right. Click to enter, not E. All right, so here we go. I have everything. At least the prawn suit, anyways. Okay, so we run over here. And we go over here. We need... I actually need titanium on me. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and make the enamel glass first. We'll make glass. We make enamel glass. I'll make that plasteel while I'm here. This just gets me inventory space so I can grab more titanium. And then we will make two aerogel. And now I think I just need to make one more plasteel ingot. Let's see here. And grab the lead. Not a problem, and I went the wrong way. Always going the wrong way. Uh, titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what's the other one? Lead. Okay, there we go. So now, go ahead and make titanium ingot. And then a plasteel ingot. And then. And then. We gotta go back to that vehicle bay. I have no idea where I put the damn thing. Was that it? Oh, hello. <laughs> Freaked the hell out of me. I was like, what the hell is that? Where did I put that thing? What is a purple? Is that purple thing sticking out. Okay. Another bug. So where did I put this vehicle assembly bay? Uh, I can't remember. There it is. Way over there. Uh, let's take the Cyclops over. Why not? Be a little quicker. See, that's what's making the boom, boom, boom. You got brain coral right there. It goes up, and when the bubble hits... Again, I don't know why the air explodes. <laughs> Just to just dissipate to the water like that. Okay, let's go. Turn the engine on. There we go. I got the efficiency module. Uh, so at least I'm not killing power. 
So now we gotta get this thing all the way over here. I don't care about excessive noise. It's fun to watch the peepers jump out of the water. Now, right here we go. Shut that off. And now we gotta get outside. Let's get dropped right to the bottom of the ocean, too. I do not care. That's what the jump jets are for. You have no idea who you're talking to. Okay, let's get in here before it sinks to the bottom. Definitely need the jump jet upgrade. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh well. Where is that thing? Let's see if I can actually make it up there. I have no idea how high this is gonna get me. Not enough. Let's see if I can see if we can actually get it in there. Why do I have a, a radiation symbol on my uh, my leg? Where is the Cyclops? I don't think I'm gonna make it up. I might have to get that jump jet upgrade. Maybe? Where are you? Okay, that's what I'm aiming for. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, we might. We might. Come on. Come on. And I missed. I missed, damn it. It's too far forward. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, doesn't take any damage. That is good to know. Well, not fall damage. Alright, and let's go. So I gotta aim for the engines. Oh, <laughs> I just got it in there. Awesome. So I can't actually modify this here. I have to bring it back to the, the moon pool. All right. So it'd be nice if you could just assemble that vehicle bay. Be able to get the resources back for it. Okay. Let's take this. Let's go add this to our wardrobe. I still find it weird how you can see the windows through the water. It doesn't matter where you are, you can see the windows through the water. And now what is that sticking out? Anyway, let's uh, shut the engine off. And we'll turn the lights off, just because... And we'll take the prawn suit out. And where are we? I thought I saw something there. It's a shame you can't run in this thing. Alright. I almost feel like the... Uh, Richard Nixon in that episode of Futurama where he was running for president he ends up buying Bender's body because bo Bender sold his body for titanium or sold his body for the, for the titanium and Nixon buys it to run for presidency and they end up getting his his uh, his body back and then all of a sudden they find out that Nixon wins the the election because he's got a new a new body it ends up being this giant anime mech warrior suit and he's like all inflamed with rage and power he's like Nixon's back 
Anyway, let's go ahead and make this color. So, since it's a suit, we are going to make this. I'm going to make this white. Uh, there we go. And, oh, what are we going to call this? We are going to call this... The iron tux, oh, why not? And then, of course, we're gonna make the name white. What the hell is that? Huh? All right, so there we go. And it does have inventory here somewhere, does it not? I think I have to access it from uh, from what should we call it? Uh, the outside, not there. This outside. Access upgrades. Into bronze suit. There's a storage. Hooray. And I think I put storage modules on here too. Uh, there we go. We have our bronze suit. So we now have a nice little trio. We got our the red, red Sea Baron, the Ocean Madness, and our Iron Tux. So anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. We've finally got some stuff doing going. We're going to have to find that grappling on our next episode. Just because, and then I think we might have to start getting along with some of the some of the storyline. Like I know we do have to eventually cure this infection. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, so I'm not gonna die yet. I will eventually though. And then let's just go through here. Like I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I grabbed the piece of brain coral too and I scanned it. I don't know why. Uh, data downloads, alien downloads. Scan data, that's that. Aurora survivors. I think there might be a couple of things I still have to go after. I don't think I've checked everything out. We don't have any clues or clues. Maybe there's something here that I missed. But we'll figure that out next episode. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.